Wow. Very exciting. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. taking it all in. Very cool, very cool. Okay. You know, it just feels like I should own eight and a half. I love it. Earlier um, this year, or no, last year I interviewed Jeremy Jasper who wrote and directed Patty Cakes and he said that for like months on end he just watched eight and a half every night and that was like his film school. So I would be remiss not to take this right now. Election is one of my favorite movies. Tracy Flick is one of my favorite characters ever and I love Matthew Broderick in that movie and Chris Klein. Oh, it's like, it all comes flooding back. Um, so I obviously need to take this one. Dress to Kill, never seen, seems fun. Um, Brian De Palma, great. Fox and his friends have also never seen, so that's mine now. I'd love a chart of like who's taken what, like <laughs> a graphic of that would be great. I love Metropolitan. I have the Criterion edition of Last Days of Disco, so actually for that matter, I could just take the Whit Stillman trilogy, except it has um, Last Days of Disco. I've never seen Barcelona. It's great. All right, I'll take that too. Um, <laughs> ah. Oh, I love Valerie and her Week of Wonders. It's such a good, weird movie. I would love to have Chantal Ackerman. Oh, that's amazing. This is so many in one. Martha Graham. A lot to learn from her. So, sounds great. Broadcast News I did own, and now I lost it, which makes me think I lent it to someone and never got it back. So, I'm going to take it again. I uh, wrote my college application essay about Holly Hunter in this movie because it was like, who's a woman living or dead, fictional or real, who you would um, like to have lunch with. And I just love her character in this movie so much. Oh, Moonrise Kingdom. That's such a beautiful cover. I really hope I don't die before I can watch all of these. It's on my mind constantly.